Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. You're probably tripping because you're like, you are on the screen. And yes girl, I am because this video needed an intro and this is what I'm doing. And so Tamu, and I'm saying Tamu because if you if you was all shook back in February when you saw the Super Bowl commercial and they were saying, ooh, ooh, Tamu, and you like, baby, we've been saying Timu this whole time. And I'll probably start saying Timu, but I'm pretty sure it's Tamu. But you know, language barriers. Americans, we don't pronounce anything correctly. It is what it is. But anyways, then people reached out to me and they wanted me to do a video. So they gave me free reign to go on their website and pick out a few things. So I decided the theme that I was gonna do was start a craft collection or things that you need to build your crafting collection. And so that is what you're gonna see throughout this video of the things that I picked up from the website. So admittedly, I had never been on the Tamu website. I've heard of it, I heard some good things, I heard some bad things, like they be stealing people's credit card information. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But what I mostly wanted to see was, could I find crafting supplies that I could use to stock my drawers? So a couple of things to know about Tamu is that they have free shipping and free returns for 90 days. And they also do price adjustments up to 30 days. And so that's actually a really good one because, so after I place my order, what I like to do is when I work with companies and they send me free product and I've never shopped with them before, I like to go and do like the shopper experience myself because that's how I'm able to tell y'all about it, right? And so I downloaded the app and you'll notice that like they do like flash sales with the prices so that's actually a really good thing and you could probably like if you're diligent enough you could probably buy some things and then find a way to get a few dollars back and we're always about saving money in this economy i know that's right okay so i will leave a link to the app for you can download it below in the description box so definitely click on the link down below and i'll also leave links to everything that I will show you in this video in the description box below. So really quickly, I do wanna talk about my app experience because I feel like that's important to this story because again, even though I work with these people, this is still my channel and y'all still the people that's watching me to get to them. So if I don't recommend it, y'all ain't going, right? Right. Okay, so um, I was actually in Jamaica at the time and so I downloaded the app and when you download the app and it's your first time signing up, it wants you to play all these like games, like spin the wheel, find a missing piece. And so I'm clicking through, I'm clicking through, and it was like, like search for things you like. So I searched for something because I wanted this candle kit. I added the candle kit to my cart, baby. Next thing I knew, two clicks later, this thing had connected to my cash app and checked me out. That was scary because again, I'm gonna give y'all the real, right? Somehow. <laughs> Somehow I had went through the clicking of the button so fast and I don't remember it asking for permission to link to my cash app. I just know next thing I knew it said, do you want to like get 100% back? Check out now. Baby, it didn't check me out, sent the money through cash app and was whoosh, gone. So I say all that to say, when you download the app, pay attention and don't be like me and having to immediately jump in and hit refund because you had no intention of placing your order at that time because you were still trying to figure out how to use the app. And maybe it's an old people thing, maybe the, the app, because you're coming from overseas, it's a little too advanced for me, but I've used it more <laughs> since then and I have now figured out how to use it without me having to place a bunch of individual orders and then link it to my cash app. So again, just keep that in mind that when you're clicking, click slowly especially my older people like millennials and up because baby that thing was moving so fast I didn't know what was going on. With all of that being said, let me show you all the things I was able to find to help build my craft collection. So if you like this video, thumbs it up, leave a comment, download that app, and I'll see y'all in the next one. But I usually say at the end, but stay tuned. Y'all let's jump right into it. The first thing I got was a 40 ounce handle tumbler. You know, the handle tumbler trend is very popular. Admittedly, I do not own a Stanley because I cannot justify the price, especially when I make my own. So it's like, yeah, not doing that. And so I got this one because the other one I got from another company, um, the handle isn't like completely enclosed. So I got this one to see if I like the enclosed handle or if I like being able to just scoop it up uh, by the handle instead of having to grab it. Uh, my straw did come a little bit bent, but not bent to the point that it's broken. So yeah. And the lid has like the little open and close feature if that's what you're into in case you want to use a straw or if you want to sip, know that you can do that with this lid. And I got the prices for everything on the screen. So yeah, check those out. 
Next is an epoxy kit. Now this is a 16 ounce kit. So eight ounces of A, eight ounces of B for $21.43. I was very surprised when I opened up the package and it had like gloves and pipettes and little mixing cups. I already have some opinions about these things because I have used them. Like when I'm, now that I've recorded, now that I'm recording the audio, I actually have used a number of these things, but I will reserve those opinions for the videos that I use them in. So make sure that you're subscribed and come back and see the, and see those videos. Um, the next thing I got was a high glue gun kit. So my, in my mind, I'm going to use this high glue gun to do drips. And so I know it is Halloween month, spooky season. And so I have every intention of doing like a cauldron-y black candle cup with this. And so that's why I bought these. And like these glue sticks were huge. And like it's to know me and to know I have very large hands for a woman, especially a woman who was only 5'2", um, in addition with the long nails. So yeah, I picked this up. It's very like industrial, very sturdy. I'm like, okay, it got a little kickstand on it. Look at that. Yeah, there's the little things that make me happy when it comes to stuff like this. I was like, ooh, a kickstand. So yeah, in this little case, that way it's not inner jingling jangling with your drawer and you can keep good track of it. I'll probably put a label on this because I'm the type that when I do want to do, does go in the drawer, I'll be like, wait, what was, what was this? And I'll end up opening it up every time I'm looking through my drawers. Okay, the next thing I got was this mini heat gun. And so I've seen these and I don't know how well they would work to pop bubbles and epoxy, but I figured since I had the chance to get one that we are going to use that chance just to see how well it works. And so... This, it's like, it's, it's not big. The one, my biggest complaint with this little heat gun is that the extension cord is like 24 inches long. And so I need a six foot cord on anything that I use in my craft room. So definitely would need an extension cord when I want to use this because that cord is so short. But I'm like, I guess it matches like the size of the heat gun itself. But yeah, biggest complaint on that one is that the cord is just a little too short for my liking. Um, the next thing I got was a snow globe tumbler. And so y'all know that I sell cups myself. I'm thinking about getting another cup game. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But so this was $6.99. I did think that was a little expensive, if I can say so myself. I don't even know if I, because this is a plastic snow globe tumbler. And so I would have to look at suppliers to see how much like the cup itself costs and then how much you would sell it for. Because of course, you know, people do this as a business. But I did think that $7 may have been it's okay, okay let me say it like this i thought seven dollars was expensive for a non-us based supplier that i was going to have to wait 10 days to get it from now if i'm working with a us based supplier like myself and i'm you order it you know right now tonight at 7 p.m i'm going to ship it out to you tomorrow you're going to have it in a couple days i'm willing to pay a little extra for that but yeah i just thought that was kind of interesting because it feels like you're getting it directly from the source but a little expensive and it does come with the little plugs which i do like um, the next little quick thing is transfer tape. You can never have not too much transfer tape. There's always something you can use transfer tape on. And so I'm like, ooh, $3, 12 by 60, that's five feet. So one foot by five foot, um, three bucks. I thought that was a pretty decent deal. I was tripping because it says this, this manufacture date. And at that point, when I filmed this, that date hadn't happened yet. None of my business. <laughs> uh, the next thing I bought was this sublimation paper. And so I was a little confused because I was like, I've never seen sublimation paper like this. And so I'm used to like just like regular letter paper that's like regular weight. I don't know what regular weight is. But like this was like blue and it was like thin. And so I'm very interested to see how this is going to work. Because again, it's something I haven't used before. And so I'm always trying to be able to give you guys tips and tricks. And so if there's a type of sublimation paper out there that I've never encountered, then how can I help y'all help yourselves? If I've never done it, and I hate being able to tell y'all like, oh, I don't, well, I ain't never done it, so good luck to you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm got to do more research on this paper type and see what it's talking about. I was just pulling it open to see if there was instructions, because again, I had never seen sublimation paper like this, and there were no instructions. So I'm on my own. I'm not even sure what side to print on, but we'll figure that out. And since I bought sublimation paper, I had to find things to sublimate on. So I bought these mouse pads. Really good deal. I thought $1 per mouse pad was a pretty good deal. Because when I think about like things like profit margin, there's a lot of profit margin to be made on those with them you getting 10 for uh, $10. Um, next, I got some fabric. And so my biggest thing with this little piece of fabric, I love the design. But I thought it was supposed to be 100% cotton. It just doesn't feel like 100% cotton. And again, this is one of the things that I've already used at this point. And so I will reserve my full review and opinion for that video but it might be on me because i don't know if i necessarily read the description thoroughly <laughs> um 
but yeah, so I thought also thought that was a good deal. This is a really good chunk of fabric for five bucks. I've seen fabric of this size and these designs on Etsy, and they're selling for like twelve and fourteen dollars. So you can't beat five six bucks. Um, I also bought some sublimation bookmarks. Y'all know I'm in my bookish era. Um, if you want to see me every day, if you like the intro, you can follow me on my bookstagram, bookstagram, not bookstagram, book talk. It's Gucci got books. Um. Yeah, plugging myself. But yeah. And so I bought these sublimation bookmarks. I was a little tripping out how thick they were. You get 10 of each size. So thin of, 10 of the bigger ones, 10 of the smaller ones. And so, yeah, once I print one, I'm going to see how I like these. Because they may, like, be great for books, but they may be a little too thin. These might be good for hardback books. I didn't think about that. Maybe not my paperbacks, but probably my hardbacks. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. You know, I be thinking things through with y'all, and I appreciate y'all for sticking with me through all the thoughts that I be having when I be recording these audios. It means so much to me. And it comes with them little tassels. I'll probably do something different besides the tassels. The tassels is a little played out, I think. Um, I know we've already done a sign this year, but y'all asked me to do the double-sided sign. And so they had these five-piece wooden signs for 10 bucks. And so... Because y'all know the one I bought at Walmart, I think it was like 6 or 7 or $8, something like that. It definitely wasn't 5 for that, 5 for 10 bucks. But these are a little thin. So I'm going to do one and see how well it holds up under the weight of epoxy. And if it doesn't do that well, then I have every intention of gluing two together. Yes, I do. And I'm going to get me some vice clamps or just use textbooks and tape. <laughs> oh, textbooks. That's actually a really good idea. Just tape the edges and then just put some heavy textbooks on top. And that should do it with some wood glue. Okay. Next, for my glue gun, I bought these color glue sticks. Again, I have, like, this vision in my mind where I'm going to do, like, a candle drip, like, spooky drip. And so I bought these green glue sticks. I figured that was a good deal. I don't know if I've ever even seen color glue sticks. So I was like, I'm with it. They have a bunch of different colors, too. Um... I bought this random silicone mold because I was trying to hit a dollar value. And so that is why this random mold is in here. And then the next thing that I got was UV resin. UV resin has become very popular. And again, this is another thing. I know if you send this that I've already used, so but I will reserve my opinions for that video. Um, but this size is going for double the price on Amazon. Um, so I thought this was a really good deal. I was just, I was looking y'all. I was trying to find us the deals and see where we can get the most bang for our buck and how we can build up our collection. And the last thing, you can never have too many uh, Exacto knives, utility knives. And this one came in a nice little cute case. And y'all know I be getting the ones from Dollar Tree that don't come in a case. And they be rolling around and all over the place. And so I was like, oh, this is perfect for me because, yeah, and you see the, the blade that came off. You know, I got to be careful because I am prone to messing myself up. And so, but yeah, these work the regular way. Like you just untwist it pop the blade in pop the blade out and you're ready to go so yeah that's everything i got from tamu um leave comments questions below let me know what you think about this ideal is it a website you think you're going to check out and look for the next set of videos it's going to be multiple where i'm using all the things that you've seen in this video so i'll see you guys in the next one